New at 10, a UW-Madison fraternity is trying to bring the community together for support after one of their brothers was seriously injured. It happened on game day about two weeks ago. Tonight, NBC 15's Max has caught up with some of the fraternity members to see what they're doing to help one of their own. It all started out with sunshine, friends, and a nice day by the lake. But for the members of the Delta Upsilon fraternity, that all changed quickly a few weeks ago. Now they're asking for your help after an accident they say left them in shock. Patrick Jackson and Ryan overlooked the lake from their Delta Upsilon house and remember. Um, he jumped and was it lucky, lucky enough to float to the top and called for help. And there are three or four people there that um, jumped in and helped. It's been over two weeks since what started as a fun game day by the dock turned tragic. It seemed like within minutes, uh, the ambulance and police were here and they took Jake to the hospital. 20-year-old Jake Anderson jumped off the dock that afternoon into water his fraternity brothers call far too shallow. Unfortunately, his head hit first and that suffered three um, like breaks in his spine. Jake, who is from Minnesota, was transported to a hospital in Minneapolis today where he is still battling serious injuries. We're just trying to keep him in the loop as much as we can. It's just, he's still Jake Anderson. It's not like he's any different. It's just that um, he's got an injury now. And tomorrow here in Madison is a special day for him at Chasers downtown. From 3 o'clock until bar close, half of whatever money's brought into Chasers, um, will be donated to his parents and, and Jake himself. Besides the money from sales, Patrick yeah, says yeah. there will be much more. There's also going to be a t-shirt sales, bracelets. We're having a big raffle of like um, people have been donating a lot of things like Packers tickets, Bears tickets, um, like a signed Bart Starr picture, which is really cool. It's all to help cut down immense medical costs and a way to show support for a UW junior. His brothers say was loved by many. A lot of people truly care about him and I think um, it's just a great way to give back and make sure that his family and him, himself are supported during this time. Again, the event itself is from 3 until close tomorrow at Chasers, which is downtown. The fraternity brothers told me it's absolutely open to the public and Jake's family can use all the support they can get. At this point, it's still unclear what kind of consequences this will all have for Jake, like if he'll still be able to walk.